Facts about the ocean that are scarier than any horror movie. First up, I bet you didn't know that you can literally melt in the ocean. Because in the deep sea, there's something called hydrothermal vents that can reach up to 750 degrees Fahrenheit, which will allegedly cause your body to melt. But by then, you probably wouldn't even notice because all your bones would have likely been crushed by the pressure. The next fact is honestly even scarier to think about. You know how we have so many scary stories about sea creatures? Like sirens, the Loch Ness Monster, or giant squids. Well, a lot of the creatures that used to be just a story are slowly being discovered as real. For example, the giant squid, which scientists found were not only real and over 59 feet in length, but are also cannibals. If that's not bad enough, here's more. Because the ocean is basically a giant graveyard. In 2014, researchers diving into an underwater cave in Mexico found the remains of a girl estimated to be 13,000 years old, meaning there's a high likelihood that if you go missing or drown that you would probably never be found. There's also 10 million viruses in every drop of seawater, meaning viruses in the ocean outnumber all of the stars in the Milky Way. The actual number is estimated to be one known million, which is a number I've never heard before, but here it is written out. That itself makes me never want to go swimming in the ocean again. Follow for more. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jet Ski Chuck, and we got a banger today. We got a long one, too, man. We're going to be diving into all types of stuff today Deep Waters 9, Space 9, Deep Space 9, all that. You know, I love you guys, man. Huge shout out to the community. I appreciate you guys for liking, subscribing, you know, commenting, throwing the hundreds in the comments. You know how we get down, man. We're going to continue on this grind going to continue on these deep waters so let's go This is another animal that actually freaks me out, the Humboldt squid. While they're not the largest giant squid, their behavior is foul. Humboldt squid can get to about eight feet long and are nicknamed red devils because when aggravated, they turn bright red. They're extremely predatory and notoriously cannibalistic, but somehow that's not the freaky part. Humboldt squid are known to live and hunt in groups. Up to 10? No. Up to 100? No. In groups of over a Dang, did it turn into smoke? I don't know. I would have to see more of that footage to make my claim but it definitely was interesting let's dive deeper how the anglerfish's bioluminescent glow works? This yes. incredible fish lives in the dark, mysterious depths of the ocean where sunlight can't reach. Living in the deep sea isn't easy, but the anglerfish has incredible adaptations to thrive in this harsh environment. The most eye-catching feature is its bioluminescent lure, hanging like a glowing fishing rod in front of its mouth. This glow is produced by special bacteria in its lure. These tiny organisms emit light through a chemical reaction with oxygen, resulting 
screen in a mesmerizing display. With this special trick, the anglerfish attracts curious little fish swimming in the dark, thinking it's a tasty treat or a potential mate. And then the anglerfish strikes with lightning speed, snapping up its unsuspecting prey in an instant. Despite its intimidating appearance and ruthless hunting skills, the anglerfish plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance of the deep sea ecosystem, helping to keep the food chain in check and ensure the survival of other marine species. Doesn't want to listen to his friend's advice and jumps in the water, but it. he regretted immediately. No, I'm going to... I'll go to the stairs. I hope you guys got your life vest. You got your oxygen tanks full. Get your jet ski fuel. And let's load up and let's get after it. Let's go. What? What is it? He's playing. I would have been getting out of there. No, we saw all of you jump in. Man doesn't want to listen to his friend's advice and jumps in the water, but he regretted. Be careful, man. Definitely want to listen to people if they say something's in the water. I wouldn't take any second chances. This is what happens when you start panicking while scuba diving underwater. <laughs> This could have gone so much worse if no one was around to save her, but she thankfully did survive with just a scare with death. Let me know in the comments if you would ever go scuba diving. Follow for more. Ocean, part one. Number two, alien mermaid. The alien looking mermaid was caught 3,000 feet deep off the coast of Greenland. The film was first published by a team from Animal Planet. The creature seen in this video looks like some sort of alien mermaid that hit the submarine window and dashed off at a very fast speed. Creepiest sea creatures filmed in the ocean.
That lightning strike was crazy. Remarkable Vassal allows you to effortlessly explore underwater without the need for diving suits, enabling you to retrieve artifacts and treasures. It's called the Diving Bell Ship, which delivers oxygen underwater while creating a vacuum around it by pumping out the surrounding water, primarily used for salvaging cargo containers and anchors from sunken ships. The Diving Bell Ship resembles a cannon barrel, serving as a means to establish an oxygen-filled space underwater. When activated, it attaches to the seabed, and a compressor blows air into the Diving Bell expelling the remaining water through pressure. Before entering the diving bell, the crew must adapt to the high-pressure environment in a pressurized chamber. Once acclimated, they can descend directly into the diving bell wow. through a staircase. Inside, a variety of sunken objects can be observed on the riverbed. And if the items are too heavy, a crane can be used to lift them directly. Despite its futuristic appearance, this vessel was actually built as early as 1973, boasting a history of 50 years. It primarily operates in Europe's busiest waterways, salvaging valuable items from accidents in the Rhine River. Another peculiar vessel, the Flip Ship, was constructed in 1962. It sometimes resembles a fishing float and other times a thermometer. Its purpose is akin to taking the Earth's temperature, as it is inserted upside down into the ocean during operations. So, do you know what these ships are used for? This remarkable vessel allows you to effort You ever heard about mega ship cleaner? Beneath the dark, oil-slicked waters of busy harbors lies one of the most hazardous jobs in the maritime industry, cleaning the hulls of massive cargo ships and oil tankers. Weighing up to 200,000 tons, these floating giants are plagued by slimy barnacles, wriggling worms, and other clingy organisms that latch onto their hulls during voyages. This biological fouling can add over 1,000 extra tons of weight, increasing fuel costs by up to 40% and racking up expenses of over $1 billion for the shipping industry. To combat these stealthy stowaways, a brave team of commercial divers plunge into the murky depths, armed with scrapers, hoses, and state-of-the-art cleaning robots. Working up to six-hour shifts in cramped, icy conditions beneath the looming hulls, divers risk getting crushed if the tide suddenly changes and the ship slumps, it's lonely, dangerous work with no quick way to reach the surface. But these underwater hull cleaners take on the job to keep the multi-billion dollar maritime industry afloat. 
The cleaning process itself poses environmental hazards as well, releasing large amounts of copper, zinc, and other harmful compounds into the water during scrubbing. Some modern techniques now use robotic drones to vacuum fouling organisms without damaging ship coatings or polluting the harbors. When diving beyond normal depths, saturation divers live in pressurized chambers for up to 28 days, breathing helium oxygen, mixturas, and working six, four ships before returning to the chamber. Remotely operated underwater vehicles, arafs, controlled from the surface, are also used to avoid human errors and fatalities. This dangerous but essential job Man, requires so advanced training and understanding of the marine environment. Through stringent preparation, innovative technologies, and sheer bravery, these underwater hull cleaners take on a scary but vital job to maintain the ships that keep global commerce sailing. Have you ever... Guys. I think I just found my dream job. That is me, guys. That looks like so much fun. I wonder what the pay is. Would you guys be interested in doing something that, like that? You know, that is definitely very cool. Traveling from the sea of Japan to Los Angeles filmed a large underwater craft or creature. The mysterious object kept up with the speed of the aircraft, eventually surpassing it. confirmed that it is not the shadow of the airplane, the object beneath the water is unknown. what under the water? Nah, 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 this is freaking mental. This guy right here is Jake Kohler, a famous YouTuber and scuba diver. Very experienced and for years has been exploring the underwater world as a treasure hunt. Whilst exploring the depths of Lake Gunnersville in Alabama, he made a shocking discovery. He saw something at the bottom of the lake which he originally thought was just a shipwreck. This is what he found. A flipping UFO at the bottom of the lake. Oh, not something that just looks like a UFO, an actual 
UFO look at it. Cola contacted the authorities and they have been swarming to the place ever since with scientists and investigators and the news has gone global. Paddy have published a full article so go check it out, link in bio. I'm sorry, they just found what under the water? Water when me land. Just do petting so she was in this one. No, as a way, Bali had children! Water when me land. A team in Northern Europe doing seabed analysis detected an underwater anomaly. Is this one of the infamous underwater submerged objects? Basically, a UFO under the water. A team in Northern Europe doing seabed analysis detected an underwater anomaly. Look behind you. Insane. Man, I, we've been seeing that line a lot. Look behind you. It's like a bus departing this Insane. sector. Whoa, did you see that just shoot across? Did you Look behind you. Insane. Do we have any sensors underwater uh, to um, detect on submerged UAPs? Uh, anything that is in the ocean or in the seas? Well, I think uh, that would be more appropriately addressed in closed session. So. That's not the greatest video footage of a USO ever, but I do think it is the first concrete video footage we have. They said the closed USO. sessions. Um, it was filmed in the Gulf of Mexico, and I want to say 5,600, maybe a little bit more than 5,600 feet deep. Um, also at 5,600 feet, you're dealing with a lot of pressure. So to waterproof something like this and keep it in the tight little package that it's in is essentially impossible. It's, it's really out of the bounds of what I think we have technology of making right now. They are literally everywhere. 4,300 plus videos a day. They are literally everywhere. Four thousand. Look, nothing in the sky. Fourteen of them. And all of a sudden, bam! What is that? Did anybody tell me what that is? We're in the middle of the ocean. On a ferry. Nothing around. Look. Nothing around. No land. No nothing. Nothing in the sky at all. Then all of a sudden, bam, what is that? Bam, 14 of them coming. Hello, let me know what you guys think. But let's put our life vest ba back on, tighten it back, and get back into these waters. Dark waters night. <laughs> or an alien laying on the beach surrounded by government officials. I decided to investigate the origin of the alien, and I stumbled upon what looks like an underwater alien base. Notice the circular structure deep underwater with an opening in the center. When viewed from land, we can see what looks like a UFO, right above the alien base. When we take a closer look at the underwater alien base, we can see that there is a 27-foot opening in the center. Is this where the UFOs go to hide from us? How many more hidden alien bases are there around the world? They are everywhere. Which read, the U.S. Navy holds unseen videos of unidentified flying objects, UFOs, but will not release the footage publicly because it would harm national security. The release of this information will harm national security as it may provide adversaries vulnerable information regarding Department of Defense, Navy operations, vulnerabilities, and or capabilities. Now that's from Gregory Carson, the Deputy Director of the Navy's FOIA office, and he wrote this in a response letter to the Black Vault. They were asking for more 
more footage, more proof, and the Navy was like, you got enough. We're not telling you no more. Gregory continued, no portions of the videos can be segregated for release. So basically there was this huge underwater sighting, only the Navy could see it because the Navy are underwater. And uh, well, luckily one fan, one guy who watches our show, well, he had footage that he had taken himself, or at least his girlfriend. His name is Real Super Sauce. I know, I know, it doesn't sound real, but come on, it's a handle. Now he was with his girlfriend at Las Tunas Beach, that's out in Malibu, and all of a sudden they spotted something in the water and it was super illuminated. What else could it be? Take another look. I already said it was aliens, bro. Like, that bitch got closer. Now, having watched a million UFO shows over the years, well, I've actually heard that these flying saucers, they love going underwater and checking in on submarine activity. That's right. They go from air to water like it's nothing. And, uh, well, they might even have underwater bases. Who knows? I mean, it's a good place to land and have a cat nap undetected. Now, the U.S. Navy, they're said to have more eyewitness accounts of UFOs coming up close and personal with ships than that have actually happened in the sky. So that video right there, it shows you that something's going on below the ocean. What do you think? Do you think it's for real? Do you think this guy made this up? How could he? Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I can't wait till we start talking to aliens. It's coming. I might turn this into an alien channel and then I'll interview them. That'd be great. See you guys in another video. Wouldn't that be huge to do the first interview with an alien? You might not live, but man, that's that. Who needs Elvis? Who needs Drake? I want to talk to the first alien for real. Here's some more video footage captured by fishermen of a UFO over the ocean. This UFO actually goes into the water. There's plenty of reports that say that UFOs are not only coming from space, but are actually underwater as well. Okay, so Fish and Wildlife, when I called them, they, they told me they had no idea there's anything here. I, you can see these things on Google Earth. They're obviously made by something intelligent, man-made. It looks like there's an entrance to get into them or windows or something on the side of them. I don't know. I don't know what these things are. But somebody constructed them in the middle of a river. That's what's crazy to me about it. And it looks like they're made out of rock. So, you tell me. You can see it yourself. Go check it out. Okay, so fish. Yeah, that looks weird. Something weird he was getting out of there. Coincidentally, a few days after this um, aired on the television that he had made this discovery, when him and his friend were flying the helicopter, it exploded and he died. Inside the ring of muscles was a
Patrick, Omaha, pick me kid, Rafael Peralta, pass ability to launch Hilo ASAP. I love these kind of sci fi aerial cameras because I feel like they have more credibility. Like I'm seeing something that got released, you know? Actually, a true story. There was some type of creature washed up in South Africa. These guys went over there doing an exploration. I'm going to show this little clip. Whatever it was hit their vehicle while they was underwater. The government got behind it and shut them people down so fast. And I'm going to show this clip again in a little more close fashion. And I'm glad they caught that because it shows us that there's something down there. There's probably an entire civilization down there. This was actually a true story. There was some type of creature washed up in South hey, Africa. These might guys have a little validity. Exploration. Twitter. It's footage of what is to be a UFO being chased and it drops into the water and takes off, which we've known and have seen UFO on radar have done. The military has chased unidentified objects doing the same thing. It's, this one happens to be caught on camera. Now, is this real or is this phenomenal CGI? You guys tell me. The first clip is muted, but I posted the second clip with the original audio. Like, post, comment, repost, let me know. Tell me what you guys think this is. Is this real? Or is this a phenomenal hoax? I don't know how you can hoax two helicopter or a helicopter and two jets, but. The helicopter was in pursuit. just their hair this video was just literally released on twitter it's footage of what is hey y'all meyer here this you're watching into the unexplained deep beneath the ocean surface a mysterious encounter has last you're watching into the unexplained 
deep beneath the ocean surface, a mysterious encounter has left scientists puzzled for nearly two decades. In 2002, a camera captured a jewel squid, flashing its vibrant colors trailed by an unidentified fast-moving object. The astonishing footage, taken off the coast of Japan on May 3rd, showcases the squid's unique shape, organ, and color, emitting mesmerizing silver hues. But the real enigma lies in the elusive object darting behind the creature. As the scientific team is watching the squid, a chance encounter captures the unidentified object on camera. Its sudden appearance and rapid speed have left experts baffled and searching for answers. Despite extensive research and analysis, scientists have yet to determine the nature of this mysterious object. Various theories have emerged, including the possibility of a rare deep sea creature or an unknown mechanical device. Watch for yourself, what do you think? Man, we've been seeing that beam a lot lately, like a bus. Yeah, you done it. You done it. You want? You're watching. Yeah, you done it. You done it. You want a UFO? Go ahead. Go. Fuck the UFO! That's... Yeah, you done it. You done it. You want a UFO? Go ahead. Go. Fuck the UFO! Look like my boy Freddy from Deadliest Catch is going in there grabbing something crazy. In a leaked video that emerged on the internet, an alleged encounter between a man and an extraterrestrial being took place at an undisclosed location within a secret base in the United States. The encounter reportedly occurred during the nighttime, and due to the video's quality, the specific surroundings remain unidentified. It is believed that this encounter took place in 2017, although no. Official confirmation from the government has been provided. The video begins with a man standing a short distance away from what appears to be an extraterrestrial being, commonly referred to as a grey. Both individuals face each other and maintain eye contact for several moments. The extraterrestrial's physical features resemble typical depictions of greys a hairless, pale greyish skin tone, large dark eyes, and a slight frame. The man remains calm throughout the encounter, showing no signs of distress or fear. Their interaction appears to be nonverbal, as no audible communication is captured in the leaked video. Despite this, their body language seems engaged and focused. The man and the extraterrestrial being exchanged glances perhaps attempting to convey meaning or understanding to one another. It is worth noting that any interpretation of their interaction remains speculative due to the lack of context provided. After a brief period of visual engagement, the man and the extraterrestrial reach out and firmly shake hands. This momentary physical contact suggests a mutual acknowledgement or agreement between the two parties. The handshake appears formal, devoid of any overt displays of emotion or excitement. Both individuals maintain a composed demeanor throughout the encounter, further adding to the enigmatic nature of the video. It is important to emphasize that the authenticity and veracity of this video remain unverified. As no official confirmation or statements have been released by the government or reputable sources, skepticism should be exercised when evaluating the footage. The leaked video serves as a piece of intriguing but unconfirmed evidence in the realm of alleged extraterrestrial encounters. As with any leaked material, its origin and intentions behind its release by an anonymous source raise additional questions about its credibility. The lack of supporting information or corroboration adds further complexity to the assessment of this alleged encounter. Without official documentation or reliable sources, 
It is impossible to draw definitive conclusions regarding the nature and significance of this encounter. Until further evidence emerges or official disclosures are made, this leaked video remains an unverified curiosity within the realm of alleged extraterrestrial encounters. In a leaked video that emerged Man, that's some pretty intense footage, but they look like they were both friends, you know? I hope that's the case if uh, something does pop off. But let's get back into these waters. You know, I know this is a long one, but, you know, I love this stuff, man. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe if you in here riding with me. Now let's go. Here's another interesting Google Earth find. Go to Greece. You'll see these three little islands. Zoom into here. As you zoom in, you'll see these docks. Zoom in even further and look what's underwater, just lurking. What the heck is that? It's huge, it's round, it's a structure. Somebody tell me. Here's another interesting Google Earth find. Go to Greece. You'll see these three little islands. Zoom into here. As you zoom in, you'll see these docks. Zoom in even further and look what's underwater, just lurking. What the heck is that? It's huge, it's round, it's a structure. Somebody tell me. Here's another interesting Google Earth find. Go to Greece. You'll see these three little islands. Zoom into here. As you zoom in. I need to learn how to operate Google Earth so we can just have a whole video where we're just zooming in, searching and finding stuff think they can hide it from us but not while we on these dark waters seven russian divers are at a depth of 50 meters when suddenly the frogmen realize they are being watched these strange humanoid figures were much bigger than human beings and appeared to be wearing helmets of some sort what on earth are we to make of an encounter like this? It's one thing to talk about USOs, but quite another to talk about humanoid entities deep in the lake. These were large beings, human shape, but like nine feet tall, wearing what seemed like very tight-fitting silvery suits. Not your normal scuba gear, basically. Swimming in the water, what they've come to call the swimmers of Lake Baikal. What were these creatures? Why did they not seem to use what we would be using to sustain life? There were no oxygen tanks. Seven Russian divers. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Oh yeah, that thing was small and they got right next to it. huge monster begins to emerge from the ocean in Portland, Maine. Early November 17, 2021 morning, a huge monster begins to emerge from the ocean in Portland, Maine. 
early November 17, 2021 morning. Yeah, that was definitely one. Stop it there. No, I'm not going crazy. Watch. Again. You see that? Damn. National Geographic National photographer Geographic admits to encountering Oceanic underwater alien beings. Fearless scientists, researchers, photographers, and adventurers who dare to venture into the unknown depths of the ocean. With cutting edge technology and a passion for discovery, they have uncovered some of the most fascinating secrets of the sea. During one of their recent underwater assignments, Louise Lamar, a seasoned underwater director of photography, stumbled upon something that left him awestruck. He was scanning the ocean floor when he spotted what appeared to be a group of stingrays, but upon closer inspection, he realized that they were unlike anything he'd ever seen before. The creatures were sleek and had long, sinewy bodies that glided effortlessly through the water. Their eyes were large and expressive, and they seemed to radiate an otherworldly glow. Although mesmerized by their beauty, Lamar could sense that there was something different about them. And as he observed them even more closely, he began to notice that they were exhibiting behaviors that he had never seen in any marine animal. They seemed to communicate with each other using some kind of language that he couldn't comprehend and had never seen among any marine animal before. In addition to this, they moved with exceptional fluidity, one that defied the laws of physics. Lamar was convinced that he had stumbled upon an alien species, one that was far more advanced than humans in terms of its physical and intellectual capabilities. Lamar's descriptions of the underwater aliens he encountered paint a vivid and fascinating picture of the ocean's mysterious depths. The giant deep-sea arachnids he also came across were unlike anything he had ever seen with their spindly legs and menacing I presence. Love this stuff, yeah. Venomous sea snakes with their bright yellow heads were likewise a striking sight. According to Lamar, their vibrant colors stood out against the deep blue of the ocean. He also had rather strange encounters with sharks and orcas during his expedition. Since I've been watching these videos, I recently found out that there's a great hammerhead. Like a like a great white, but it's like a hammerhead version. Man, we might have to pull up a couple. Edition, but the most intriguing creatures he encountered remained the hyper-advanced aquatic alien creatures inhabiting the shallow waters that looked almost like stingrays. These creatures defied all known laws of nature with their advanced intelligence and unique anatomy. Lamar captured stunning images and video footage of the creatures and shared his discovery with the world, immediately igniting a firestorm of controversy and debate among scientists and researchers. As word of Louise Lamar's discovery spread, the scientific community was both skeptical and intrigued. While some experts quickly dismissed the idea of underwater aliens as a figment of Lamar's imagination, others saw it as a groundbreaking discovery that could change our understanding of the universe. To settle the debate once and for all, a team of experts from around the world was assembled to analyze the images and video footage captured by Lamar. They spent months poring over every frame, dissecting the creature's movements and scrutinizing every detail. Finally, after months of intense scrutiny, the team came to a very shocking conclusion. The creatures were not from Earth. 
They had all the hallmarks of intelligent life, with advanced cognitive abilities, a highly developed communication system, and a level of technological sophistication that surpassed our own. The news sent shockwaves through the scientific community, and the National Geographic team found themselves at the center of a media frenzy. Overnight, they became the world's most famous underwater explorers, and people from all over the globe clamored to hear more about their incredible discovery. But the team knew that the discovery of these underwater aliens was just the beginning, and that there was still so much more to learn about the ocean and its secrets. The team is now planning a series of expeditions to further explore the ocean depths and unravel the mysteries of these fascinating creatures. But Lamar's underwater alien encounter has been far from the only shocking discovery that scientists have had to contend with recently. U.S. nuclear submarines also released a report in January about their encounters with an unknown underwater object. Their report has likewise been raising concerns throughout the scientific and military communities. The encounters were so peculiar that they were likened to the underwater counterparts of UFOs, which are now commonly referred to as USOs or underwater submerged objects. And these mysterious encounters were not only limited to one area. They have now been reported in different parts of the world, including the Arctic and the Baltic Seas. One of the most intriguing encounters described in the report involved an attack on a US submarine patrolling the North Atlantic. The, the submarine's advanced sonar system detected an object moving at an incredibly high speed in the water. Although the sonar personnel on the submarine were unable to classify the object, they noted that it was moving at a speed of several hundred knots, which is much faster than any known that underwater object quiet. or animal. What makes this encounter even more interesting is that the object seemed to exhibit intelligent behavior. It was able to move in ways that no known underwater object could. The object also seemed to be aware of the submarine's presence be and UFO. actively avoided it leading experts to believe that it could be some sort of advanced underwater technology created by an unknown country or organization. But what made this encounter even more interesting was the fact that the object appeared to be exhibiting intelligent behavior. It seemed to be aware of the submarine's presence and actively avoided it, leading experts to believe that it could be alien beings visiting our planet from far-off galaxies, or some sort of of advanced underwater technology from another planet on a covert military operation on Earth. The object appeared to be made of translucent material, allowing the observers to glimpse its intricate internal workings. However, the Navy personnel who reported these encounters have remained tight-lipped about their experiences, leading many to speculate that the military is aware of more than they are willing to share with the public. But some conspiracy theorists have even gone as far as to suggest the U.S. government is actively covering up these encounters to prevent public panic. It and might as more be. reports of USO encounters continue to emerge, some experts are beginning to worry about the potential threat these objects could pose to global security. If these objects are indeed the product of extraterrestrial beings experimenting with advanced underwater technology, then it could signal a new era of underwater espionage and military conflict. Some others have even suggested that these objects could be part of a global surveillance system designed to monitor underwater activities. But aside from marine biologists in the US Navy, NASA has likewise been uncovering pretty scary and unknown discoveries about the depths of our planet's oceans. The space agency has recently expanded its exploration to include the deep ocean. This new venture has led to some incredible discoveries of bizarre and fascinating creatures that have never been seen before. According to a report from NASA, the creatures that live in the dark and eerie depths of our planet's oceans are as strange as they can get, with tentacles, fins, and appendages that seem to defy the very laws of nature. But before we can come around to these creatures, the NASA team, during one of their recent deep-sea expeditions, stumbled upon an area of giant underwater volcanoes. These underwater mountains spew Damn. lava and create new landforms on the ocean floor. These volcanoes have created otherworldly landscapes that are filled with hidden caves and tunnels, where the most highly mysterious underwater creatures lurk in the shadows. The geological formations in the deep ocean are like something out of a dream, with towering underwater cliffs, canyons, and even underwater waterfalls. During the expedition, the team used a state-of-the-art technology to explore the uncharted depths of the ocean and the... What a lawn that looks like this. National Geographic.
Underwater waterfall? Man, we got to find that. They got an underwater waterfall? Underwater volcanoes? Man, it's getting real in these dark waters. Hey y'all, Myra here. So really quick, shout out to Zamaya for sending this to my attention. Y'all, this is groundbreaking. This is an extremely long video, but I highly recommend watching it all the way to the end. So this footage was captured off the north coast of Aguadilla in Puerto Rico. A couple of fishermen came up to some sort of glowing object. That's too big. And started recording. That's too big and bright um, to be somebody. Instantly you want to think maybe it's bioluminescence or maybe it's divers when you have a glow that strong that powerful you would assume you would see rigging maybe a documentary crew something you see nothing you just see the glow then they continue to follow it and you see what they found it looks like they captured an alien outside of the USO tell me what you think is this a real alien swimming in the ocean near its rig like post comment repost let me know Mira, 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 prendí, apagó. Y una boya allí. So close to my screen. Put your camera in the water, please. Y alumbra de momento, ¿verdad? Yeah. Submarino. No se le calme mucho. Damn, you can see some type of tentacles. Jump in. Hey y'all, Myra here. So really quick, shout out to Zamaya for sending this. I think that was the best one so far, man. It just was like, 
it couldn't be like a submarine or something because you see how bright that light was and i kind of saw like a tentacle moving at some point but man that was a good one i love that i just wish they had like an underwater camera or something so we could see what was under it man dang On camera. Force a UFO enters the ocean and scuba divers followed it. You'll never believe what they caught on camera. Four scuba divers were in the Bahamas when they saw a UFO enter the ocean next to their boat. Fascinated by the opportunity presented, the men decided to follow it. And this is what they saw. This is fantastic footage and a fantastic story, but there are some red flags. The witness statements were sketched. They only described the events leading up to the UFO entering the ocean, not them actually swimming near it. I also wasn't able to find any police records of the incident, which is weird because you would think that they would have reported this to the authorities. UFO enters the ocean and scuba divers followed it. You'll never believe what You won't believe it, but this UFO video was recorded in St. Petersburg, Florida in 2022, and according to the witness, he saw the object actually dive into the water. He said that he waited outside of the water for a while for it to come out, but it never did. And believe it or not, he actually called it an extraterrestrial. Those are his words, not mine. But anyways, like and follow for real footage of the unknown. That looks you like won't the believe it, the but this UFO one. video was recorded in St. Petersburg, Florida. I heard that if you crack an egg at the bottom of the ocean, something crazy happens. So I wanted to try it out. First, I got my egg, and then I went to the bottom of the ocean. It's about 45 feet deep here. I checked to see if it would float back up, and it actually sinks. And as I pull it apart, you can see the clear part of the egg sticks to the top. I wanted to make sure that the egg all stayed together, so I slowly peeled away the pieces of the bottom shell until it would fall out. Okay, I got it. Now I have this cool floaty egg. Look at me and my egg friend. This is so crazy. He's just chilling. I was running out of breath, so I went up again and when i looked down this fish was stealing my egg bruh can you not he scurried away as i swam back down and all that was left was bits and pieces i heard that if you crack an egg at the bottom of the see this no holy shit what, what is, the hell is that what is happening you guys see this oh my god what the fuck is happening what is that what it is might that? be flares that looks see tight this? No. Have you ever seen this creature before? And no, it's not what you think. This creature is a salp. Salps are actually animals that are found in these deep, open ocean environments known as gelatinous tunicates. They move their bodies through jet propulsion and this is also how they feed by filtering out the water that passes through them. Although they look like deep ocean aliens, they are close marine ancestors of fish and other invertebrates, and they even have a heart and gills. Have you ever seen
oh, there might be a crashed UFO underwater off the coast of Sweden. It's called the Baltic Sea Anomaly, and in 2011, explorers discovered this bizarre object on the seafloor. When they returned to study it more, their equipment strangely stopped working when they got within 650 feet of it, and it would turn back on again when they backed off. It's around 200 feet wide and 26 feet tall, and it appears like it could be man-made. Its circular shape and angular patterns on it has led many to believe that it could be an alien spaceship. However, most scientists agree that it's probably just a glacial deposit. But what do you think it is? Let me know what you think in the comments. Did you... The Baltic Sea Anomaly that is an interesting. It does kind of resemble the uh, the Falcon. I do want to dive a little bit deeper. Do we have anyone speaking on this? This is interesting. We got to see what's in these Deep Waters 9. That's Deep Waters 9 for real. Where did this strange object in the Baltic Sea come from? In 2011, an unidentified object was found in the Baltic Sea between Sweden and Finland. Initial sonar images showed a peculiar object, almost similar to the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. And behind it, a thousand foot long runway, indicating that it might have crashed at the site. However, when the Ocean X team decided to explore further and take some high quality images of what was on the seabed, their photographic equipment failed on them. Furthermore, the object, now known as the Baltic Sea Anomaly, was discovered to be emitting a mysterious electrical signal that jammed the sonar and drained the battery in their satellite phones. Till this day, scientists have no idea what the object is or where did this strange object in the Baltic Sea come from? We need to send a team and go back down there and figure out what's going on. This isn't over. Oh, that was a wild one, man. That was extremely interesting. I love stuff like that, man. I could watch that all stuff like that all day. That like and subscribe button. We're going to dive a little bit deeper, see what else we can find. Wait, what is this? This was on the moon, too? They said this is top secret. This is on the moon. What? Wow, so they had snorkels and jetpacks back then. Wow. We have new information, but it's in a different language. Damn, did somebody find that? Is that like a gear from it? Oh wow, this is new. And this is interesting. What does this say? We need to transform this. Strange objects found at the bottom of the ocean, the Baltic Sea Anomaly. Discovered in 2012 by the Swedish-based Ocean X team in the Gulf of Bothnia, this large object has some unusual features detected by the Ocean X sonar, which resemble ramps, stairways, and other structures not produced by nature that led tabloid newspapers to suggest that perhaps the object was a sunken UFO. However, stone samples recovered at the site indicate it is made of granite and sandstone, and experts believe it is a natural geological formation.
Strange objects found at the bottom of the ocean. The Baltic Sea. Damn, it looked like something crazy was coming out of that water, man. But uh, that's all we got for today, man. I know this was a long one, man. I know you like these long bangers, so I'm going to try to give you some more long ones. Facts, UFOs underwater, anywhere we can see a UFO, man. I'm all for it, man. I could do these all day, man. I just want to thank you guys for sticking with me. If you made it this far, drop a 100 in the comment. And if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button, man. It's your boy, Big Jet out here in the dark waters nine let's go